In today's video, I'm going to show you some advertising material from 1958 until the end of the 140s production around 1979. And there's still some debate about when exactly they stopped, but uh, I'm going to stick with 1979. I've heard people say they went to 1981, but in 1979 is when IH came out with the 275 offset track motor in it, so uh, I think that's actually when they stopped making it. There may have been leftovers on dealers' lots well into the early 80s, 81, 82, but uh, 1979 is when IH came out with the 275 offset tractor, so that was pretty much the demise of the 140. In 1964, uh, late 63, 60, into early 64, Farmall came out with, or International Harvester came out with the Farmall and international versions of the 404 and the 504 tractors. In effort to update the fleet, IH made the grill on the 140 and the Cub look like their big brothers, and then you had the 706, 806, etc. But for the most part, in 1964, this is what you would have seen on the front of a Cub or a 140. And so they, they updated the line. The motor was still basically unchanged. It was still the same tractor that, that you had in 1958. The 140 was available from the get-go with a fast hitch, the one-point fast hitch on it. And you could get the optional tires like this one has. This one has 11.424 on the back and it has 6.5 by 16s on the front. But uh, the 15s were, were pretty much the standard tractor as well as the 9.5s the on the back. And so these wheels on here, these would have been the same as you would have found on 240. The wheel weights are exactly the same as for those models. 1964, that's when the changed. So they went from a 6 volt positive ground to a 12 volt negative ground. So it made it start a lot easier. And basically other than that, other than the grill and uh, the... the the change in the, in the voltage on the battery, that was pretty much it. And, and the 140 remained unchanged until the end of its production in 1979. The, the one thing that, that did change in the early to mid 1970s, around 1974, is they stopped putting Farmall on the 140. Now this one, you can see down here, it's the Farmall. The older ones said Farmall up here, and eventually they just stopped with the Farmall down here. And you'd see that on, I think, the, like the 656, 756, uh, 856, that was about the time which in the farm all down to on the number and then they just phased it out and the reason behind that was the farm all tractor was a narrow front tractor, it was a, it was a row crop tractor and yeah they still had the, the new tractors with the wide front ends that were row crop tractors but essentially the, the, the narrow front end tractors were gone by 1972 or so and John Deere with their uh, new generation tractors, or generation two tractors, I should say. They still offered an, a Rollomatic on on the smaller versions, but uh, in actuality, the last narrow front end tractors that IH made may have been in 1979 or 1980. Even the 66 series with with the black stripes would have been that series tractors at that time. And the the thing was the narrow front tractors, as they were built by IH, I think they built them like ten or a dozen at a time. They used uh, special front wheels, a different bolster, uh, obviously different axle, and uh, also different tires than the standard tractors. So they didn't make a lot of them, but they, they were out there. So you still can occasionally see like a, a 66 series tractor with a narrow front end on it, although very uncommon. Uh, they, it, was, it had a lot to do with safety and just the fact that everything was, was uh, you know, they were spraying their crops. They didn't really manually cultivate a lot of things anymore so anyway I digress but in today's video I'm going to show you everything I have on the late model of the 140 tractor I hope you enjoy the video and uh, thank you very much